and welcome back to Epic Arms. Today, we're at AI Tactical Solutions for a factory tour. Arthur. Pleasure to meet you, Alex. Thank you so much for having us. Oh, it's good to have you here. You guys have some really awesome new products, some of the stuff that I've never even heard of before and that's state of the art. Can you give us a rundown, basic rundown of the products? Yeah, not a problem. So we'll start here with the more traditional stuff. So we've got our standard 2A and 3A ballistic plates, just your standard pistol rated, stab slash proof soft armor. And then we start getting into a little bit more of the crazy stuff. So these are our cataphract line of plates. So what these are, are the world's first standalone rifle rated flexible body armor. So you can see the flex here, I'll just show this off. So you can see it bend. You can see how much flexibility you have there. And these are rifle rated. So these will stop, this one's rated for NIJ3+, plus, and then this one's rated for NIJ4. We also have some of our slightly more crazy variations, such as our maritime version, which we'll be dropping soon. So this one is positively buoyant. So this will float. And we also have our ultra lightweight. So these ones are crazy light. And I'll actually do a little bit of a demonstration, even though you only have one hand. You can feel that one right there. It's got some weight to it. Yeah. And then compared to this one right here. Oh yeah. This, this, thing, is, this thing is really nice and light. So this one isn't on the market yet, but essentially what you're getting is the standard one is about 2.8 kilos, and then the lightweight one is about two. And they're both rated for the same? Yes, so they're both NIJ3+. Plus. So okay. same threat protection, you're just saving quite a deal of weight. So we were able to cut around 30%. So essentially how the Cataphract 3 Plus works is we've bonded ceramic to a flexible matrix, and then that gets stuck on a proprietary backing plate. So it's not exactly a 3A, but it's very similar in terms of design to a traditional pistol plate, the backing material. And then we have a way of bonding the actual ceramic to a backing layer. Um, and that's what allows it to be flexible and still provide that level of protection. And unlike dragon skin, this adhesive will actually hold up. It's funny that the actually the hotter it gets, the stronger the glue is. Interesting. So it'll, it's good down to negative 50 and positive 80. So you have a bit of a range there to work with. Okay. So I guess the flexible, like honeycomb shaped ceramics, it kind of leads to that question of what about that gap that you're creating with that flexibility? How does that work in relation to, you know, it, um, it still offering that same stopping power? Yeah. So what we've done is, first of all, the tile configuration is common in a lot of ballistic plates. So in terms of your rigid armor, it has that same um, you would say honeycomb, I would say hexagonal, essentially ceramic layout. The reason that it's not an issue is even when you're, when this is worn normally, so I mean, yes, if you bend this in half and somehow manage to fire a rifle directly there, yeah. you might have a chance of opening up a gap large enough for it to be weakened. Mm -hmm. However, in standard wear, when you're wearing it, you know, like this, just around your chest normally, yeah. the gaps aren't large enough for a projectile to impact and actually penetrate through there. No matter what, they are hitting that ceramic. Okay. And already these are overbuilt. So you're looking at something in the range of about 30 millimeters of back face deformation compared to the safe standard, which is 44. Mm -hmm. So we're already building these to not be on that cutting law or bleeding edge of ballistic protection. We're trying to give you that safety margin and so even if you do get a strike that hits towards an edge, it's still not going to be enough to cause significant enough trauma to pass that safe threshold. Or at least that's what we've discovered in our dozens of tests with NTS in the States. All right, so moving on to our next body armor. So next on our list, we have the steel plates. Arthur, can you tell me why would you choose one? Because you have two different types of steel plates. Yeah. So the reason why you want steel over ceramic is because of the abuse you did to one of our lovely steel plates over here. So if you shoot any other plate 750 times, you're gonna have a lot of holes. Um, yeah, so if you're looking for that ultimate multi-hit capability, uh, go with 
this one it hurts me to see it <laughs> we'll so cover it up <laughs> yeah so damaged but hey it did its job right yeah, yeah. so again the reason you want steel steel is affordable mm -hmm. uh it's much cheaper than anything else so in terms of your wallet and getting your girlfriend mad at you yeah uh, these are probably going to be your safest bet they provide great multi-hit performance they're affordable they're very thin so if uh, that print through is a big issue for you. These are actually quite good if you're looking for rifle rated protection. And yeah, honestly, those are the reasons why. You know, something you were yeah. mentioning to me uh, versus steel over ceramic. While the ceramic was more capable of stopping, you know, larger rounds, or but it, it was less capable of stopping as many. Yes. Yeah, so that's that multi-hit performance. So anytime a ceramic plate is hit, I believe the NIJ standards is you get about a two-inch area around that impact which is deemed to be ballistically non-testable or ballistically compromised. Mm -hmm. Whereas with steel, um, yeah, it, 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 it does what it's supposed to do. Yeah, this was about, I think, well, I guess around 350 on one side. We flipped it around about the same on the other, and we have no perforation. So while mine isn't scientific testing, it's just, you know, 100 yards shooting PMC bronze. Like, all I did was deformation. There was nothing that ever went through. Other than the 300 uh, Remington Ultra Magnum. Went through like butter. Yeah, it's not rated for that. <laughs> what do you think about ceramic versus 300 uh, Remington Ultra Magnum? How would your ceramics have dealt with that, do you think? Um, honestly, 300 Remington Ultra Magnum is not a common cartridge that I test with. What we generally do is we go 308, uh, I believe the term is, uh, I think it's M2, mm -hmm. and then we go to, sorry, 30 out 6 M2 AP, which is the black tip, you know, penetrating 30 out 6 round. We don't really do a lot with 300 Remington Ultra Magnum, okay. just because we try to conform to NIJ standards. Right, right. We're working on stuff that's for 50 cal, 50 BMG proof. Yeah. Uh, that stuff's not for you know your average guy to put in a plate carrier. It's a little <laughs> big and heavy, but we are working on stuff like that. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, there's nothing. All plates are bullet resistant. Nothing yeah. is bulletproof. So no matter what, there's always going to be something that's going to go through your plate. Okay. Um, for instance, you can get hit with a 120 millimeter APFS DS round from a tank. We could make armor that'll stop it, but you know, it's always this, this trade off, right? Yeah. But how, when much, it, how much weight do you want to be bogged down? Like? Yeah. I think we did the math. It was something like 3000 pounds. Like if we wanted to do it for an infantry guy and it was <laughs> where we haven't pursued that any further. Yeah. So I guess that one's not quite realistic yet. No, not yet. We're hoping in the future, but not right now. So. The spall coat does not last forever. So as you saw with that one in his video, there yeah. is spalling that does happen. Yeah. But keep in mind, these are meant to uh, go with NIJ standard 0101, 0106.01, I believe. Yeah. Um, I got maybe got that number wrong. I'm sure you'll put that in somewhere. <laughs> but they're meant to stop six shots. Okay. That's NIJ3. So our spall coat is meant to hold on for more than six shots not for 750. Yeah. So eventually that's the biggest issue with steel is you're eventually going to blow that spall coat off and then you're going to have to deal with the spalling. Yeah. What we noticed in the video was like we, were, we had a dummy and the arms were in the front of the, I guess they were around the steel plate a bit like this. At around 80, the entire front of the plate carrier was no longer holding the plate. Yeah. And so everything was going into the chin of the dummy, into the arms of the dummy. While nothing was obviously going through, it was just like cutting up the material. And stuff. Yeah, so not a good time. <laughs> um, we would recommend everyone to not get shot 80 times in the same spot. But again, right, steel is the only plate that's going to be able to handle that from the beginning. Yeah. It's just the spall coat will only hold on for, you know, six, eight shots and past that. Again, right, it's deemed as ballistically compromised. Yeah. And we would advise you to replace the plate. So what's the warranty on this plate? Because, you know, we brought it back. I want to know what's going on. Do I get a new plate? Uh, because I like you, we'll give you a new plate. Nice. Nice. So what's our next plate you're going to show us? I think we're going to go ceramics next. Nice. So. Next, we have more ceramics, but these ones are different. What makes these ones different? Uh, these ones are rigid. Okay. So no bending on these ones. These are your more traditional, what everyone is uh, familiar with when it comes to a ceramic ballistic plate. So we've got, you know, your standard ceramic three plus, your standard ceramic four. We have them available in multi-curve as well as lightweight options. So we can bring them down to, I think, like 2.4 kilos a plate. So again, we can make these pretty light. Mm -hmm. um, and then over here, we've just released these. So these are actually our reduced back face. We call them our Legion series of plates. So you have the Principe and you have the Triari. 
essentially what the whole point of those are is we've had a lot of customers come up to us saying, hey, you know what? 40 millimeters of back face, yes, it's viewed as safe by the NIJ, but we want something that will prioritize that blunt trauma more than a traditional ceramic plate. So that's why we came up with these. These are our own proprietary backing material design, and these bring that down to something more in line with steel. So around like 30 millimeters of back face okay. compared to 40. So just making you a little bit more safer. Uh, anyone who's looked into body armor before, you know, knows what a ballistic plate is. The things that make ours unique are we do have a proprietary way of doing the backing material for both types. And also all our plates use that same tiled uh, ceramic matrix that you saw uh, in the back. What that means is our plates do have slightly better multi-hit performance, specifically when a round impacts, let's say here, uh, it only can damage the ceramics in immediate conjunction to that impact spot. Whereas with a traditional monolithic, what we found is that a shot here can actually lead to damage we across the, the front plate. of the plate. Yeah. So with this, we can keep it localized to that, maybe around that one to two inch circle around the impact zone. Yeah. But the problem with monolithics is that can spread a crack down the entire front of the material. Hmm. And especially because monolithics are usually slightly thinner, they rely on that integrity to provide them that level of ballistic resistance. Right. So it's, that's why we went with that ceramic matrices way yeah. of doing it rather than a traditional monoplate. So I guess the traditional is more of like a one shot and done. Some of whereas... them are rated for six shots. Oh, okay. Um, the only thing is this is more of a production thing than it is a end user. But the benefit is we can quickly change what we are producing for the demand that's shown. So all of our plates essentially use the same ceramic backing or ceramic material, mm -hmm. which means if let's say all our customers decide tomorrow that they want flexible armor, we can take all the ceramic we've done ahead of time, turn that into ceramic armor on a uh, on flexible armor on a dime. Mm -hmm. Whereas if everybody decides no 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 we all want you know level four rigid multi curve rifle armor, mm -hmm. we can do all of that. So it gives us that flexibility to. The same ceramic is in our multi-curve, that goes in our single curve, that goes in our proprietaries, that goes in our flexible armor. So it just allows us to, to be able to rapidly tailor our production to any large demand. Okay. So it's not exactly a big impact on the customer, but it means we can get stuff out faster. Hey guys, welcome to AI Tactical Solutions. Come on in, we'll give you a quick factory tour. So this is our showroom. So this is where all of you come in. You can see all of our plates, helmets, ballistic shields, plate carriers, anything that you see on our website and more is offered here in our front of house. But now let's go to the part of the shop that you all don't get to see. So this is where your orders are packed, shipped. This is where we keep our inventory that's ready to go out. We have carriers, we have plates, and yeah, this is where the people who answer your emails, phone calls, and handle all the shipping live and work. So let's go and see where your actual ballistic plates are manufactured. So this is our actual production floor. So we currently are working on some of the plates that are going on sale this week. But if you follow me, we can give you a quick tour. So. So right here, we're working on some of our ceramic matrices, just getting those ready for any of our ballistic ceramic plates. Over here, we have our oven. This is where we do a lot of the curing on our hard armor. So any of the auxilias, principes, or plates like that. So if you come over here, this is where we keep our semi-finished inventory. So we have ceramics, soft backing plates, normal backing plates, and we work with Honeywell and DuPont quite closely to make sure you guys get the best quality materials you guys can get. So, over here, this is actually something that I think is particularly cool. This is where we do all of our QC, or our final QC. So, this is where we run all of your plates through an x-ray scanner, so we can detect if there are any chips, cracks, any defects in the plate before it gets shipped out the door. Only once it goes through here does it get our little holographic sticker to say that we've checked it, it's been certified, and it's ready to go. And then this is a laser cutter for if you want us to custom make you a laser cut molly blast. So, 
That's our shop. Thank you for joining us on our factory tour. And remember, AI Tactical Solutions has got you for any of your ballistic armor needs.